So this is Dale Inspiron 6000. Customer was complaining the backlight wasn't working. It was just a dark screen. The computer turned on just fine. So what I'm going to do is test the backlight and make sure the bulb is good. In order to do that, we need to take this, and you'll have a hard time doing it. But you take these round things out. There, uh, set at the bottom. You got one, two, three, four, five, six of these things to pull off or pick out. However you want to do it. I usually use a little small flat tip screwdriver. And just kind of do something like that and then you got it out. So you got the rest of that to do. And then when you get that done, I'll show you the next step. Okay, after you remove the, the rubber bumpers and additionally the Phillips screw that's under there and all six of those, the next thing you need to do is just gently apply pressure here and you're going to pull that out. And you're going to do that all the way around it. You don't want to take a screwdriver and pull apart apply pressure in the glass because you'll just break your screen and that'll be another fifty dollars you have to replace so it comes off fairly easy this here with the hook you're gonna have to use a second hand or just do it like I did it if you can do it one handed while holding the camera and you're done that's how you take the bezel piece off. Here is your inverter board. And to remove it, this is different. I'm going to have to figure out how to remove it and then I'll come back to you. But anyway, there's this plug here and I generally take it off. But you may have to take the screen off in order to remove it. Now the screw here and the screw there. So we'll have to take you can actually lay the screen flat and then take your screwdriver and you're going to remove this screw here and remove that screw. Once you get that done I'll cut to the next video. Okay, now you got those two screws taken off. This has a hinge. It just lifts straight up. This you can pull straight down and it'll disconnect that. And then you can just pull this out. I'll try to do it while well, I have this connected. Okay, so I got that pulled out and probably the new board that you ordered off of eBay. Yep. Okay, so the new board that I ordered off of eBay is this screw here. There's that screw there. You take that screw off, and this board will come up. And then we can stick it back into there. You can see where it got hot here from this here, probably. And I'm going to test this backlight out. I'm going to show you how I check that backlight out in just a second. Okay, so this little box here I bought off of eBay for like six bucks. This is something you don't have to have if you're owning this laptop. But if you're a technician, I will put this in the video description of what it is. And it's so handy to have something like this. It takes the guesswork whether it's something wrong with this. You know, so 
you just plug it into your power source and it'll light up and it's red and don't know why it's red but it's a red color I'm guessing because it's still connected to the computer some way and it's I just know now that the backlight works just fine so I'll install this board and that'll be it so that's how you change your the inverter board for the Dell Inspiron 6000 thanks for watching I'll see you next time